These are my friends. When this professor of child and youth studies started watching TikTok videos with her daughter during the pandemic, she was in for a surprise. Do you want me to sure, they were dance videos, but also... It's a news source. Uh, it's a source of informal learning and informal education. Uh, my daughter was using it to really get up to speed on things like uh, war in Ukraine, COVID-19, uh, sexism and racism. Here's why you need a semicolon. It's also increasingly becoming a source of more formal learning. What is wrong with this sentence? With 4.5 million followers, this 54-year-old English teacher from Arkansas is a star on the platform. She never even had a TikTok account before the pandemic. While our kids were in lockdown, something happened. And we have to be willing to meet them where they're at. That's why I got on TikTok, because I was trying to put my grammar lessons where they were. A group of vultures. Other educators try to find credible TikTok content to share with their classes. I'm face to face with the polar bear. Wildlife and science channel Animalogic employs hosts who also work in the field, like science illustrator Danielle Dufault. I feel like nature and wildlife are already so evocative and inspiring that it's easy to like find some interesting facts about them and say like, hey, did you know about this? But not all educators think TikTok, with all the concerns about its impact on kids' attention spans, has a place in class. Teachers are already struggling to reclaim students' focus after the disruptions of the pandemic, says this expert. You have to teach kids how important it is to pay attention and to be attentive to the details. Otherwise, all we're doing is it's a kaleidoscope of flashing images and uh, immediate dopamine rushes. Blazers. But for this mom and daughter, TikTok was just a bite-sized appetizer to deeper, richer conversations. Parents and teachers might struggle to understand how important TikTok is to us. <laughs> mom using this small social media window to peer into her daughter's world. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.